Okay. Okay, so uh, if you may or may not have uh, figured out, I didn't do an event for this week because uh, I don't actually have a guest this week. Uh, in all my excitement to get Paul here for the first one last week, uh, <laughs> I didn't really uh, think about the week after that. I have rectified that error. Um, so uh, in the coming weeks, we're going to have uh, some really good folks. I've got uh, Ashley Pyle coming down next Thursday uh, for a performance and an um, interview. I've got uh, Lindsay Johnston, Johnson the, the week after that. Uh, excited about that one. Um, then Lucas McIntyre. Uh, in February, I've got Derek Hart coming in. Um, I'll be having a, uh, some, a few different people coming in. Uh, and then, of course, in March, we'll be starting the, uh, the live version at the library once a month, uh, first Friday of each month. And that'll be the same kind of format. It'll be, we'll have more opportunity for groups to play. Like, groups can't really get into my uh, fit in here uh, beyond maybe two people or so. Um, and but the same kind of format except it will we will have the traditional um, song project uh, format to a to an extent the the library thing we're going to do is uh, it's going to start with a, an open mic uh, you know just like the song project the original music of a mic um, followed by uh, interview with a song with a specific like featured songwriter and then performance by them. Um, so it'll be a little bit different than what I'm doing in streaming here, but uh, but also somewhat the same. Um, and the my the plan also, and, and I'm working on it actually right now. It took forever to download uh, last week's video, um, but I'm gonna put it up on uh, our YouTube channel, which is also uh, I forget what it's. I mean, it's called the Song Project, but I forget if that's exactly what it's called. Um, so that'll be there, and um, also gonna extract the audio from it. And I'm looking into seeing how I can get that posted on various podcast sites uh, like Spotify, etc. Um, so stay tuned for that stuff. We've got exciting things happening there. Um, so, so since I don't have a guest for tonight, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna play a couple songs, maybe a song, maybe two. Uh, not really. I don't want to really do like a whole, the whole, the whole thing. Um, the song project's not really about me. I just want to facilitate it. Um, and uh, also, just put out a uh, song challenge. Um, for anybody that wants to do it. So. This is how it all began.
Oh, the echoes of a conversation inked into my hand. Stretched in my imagination, a world without a plan. We gave in to temptation That's how it all began Cluttered mind and troubled brow Fresh and new, I step into the light. In the rock light of the border station It was catch as if you can So goodbye sweet Virginia It's life without a plan If we gave in to temptation, that's how it all began. Keep it short and sweet tonight. I'm not going to do anymore. I'm just going to um, give out a uh, quick song challenge for those that may want to do it. Um, it's going to be uh, a little different from some song challenges I've done in the past. Uh, this one is uh, a challenge to write to film. Now, I've done some recently over the last couple of years, started doing a couple project projects where... Uh, where I've been doing some um, some music for uh, for uh, it's not like film scores like uh, going to see a movie in the theater scores, but like uh, one was for a, a short video um, for a, a surfing magazine uh, about a a surfer in uh, Uluwatu uh, in Java, was it Java? Bali in Bali. Um, and um, I'm now doing something for a Japanese uh, handbag company. These are just like, they're not uh, commercials, but they're like little videos, you know, these companies, the company puts out. Um, this one, I think they, they uh, work with uh, indigenous women making handbags, like in these villages, and it's like a whole sort of little boutique thing. Anyway, it's really kind of cool. But that made me start thinking about uh, thinking about writing music to images, and uh, so for the the challenge this this time around, it's going to be um, 
to take now that there's a you can get video all over the internet uh, pretty easily um, pick pick a, uh, a clip it could be a clip from a movie could just be a random video on YouTube uh, and as long as uh, the, the clip could be as long as you want it to be uh, if you want to challenge yourself and make it longer clearly uh, it could just be a minute something like that but uh, um, Get a clip from a movie or, or whatever and uh, mute the sound and then write to it. Now this could be, a, it, it could have lyrics, it might not. It could be purely instrumental, it might be orchestral, it might be uh, rock, whatever uh, moves you to the, to the images that are there, but try to write to them. Don't just write a song and then put it over a, a film. Um, try and write something that, that reflects what you're seeing on the screen. Um, I think that'd be a fun and interesting challenge for songwriters, particularly that don't do this kind of thing a lot. Um, as with a lot of songwriting challenges, it makes sense to, uh, a lot of them are geared around the ideas of uh, constricting your freedom, okay? So one of the big problems we run into as songwriters uh, is like, well, what do I what do I write about? You know, uh, it's just this wide open. There's this ginormous universe out there. It's like, well, what do I pick to write about? And song challenges are really great because they tend to uh, constrict that that liberty, which can be daunting, especially if you're just like having writer's block or anything like that. Then it's like, okay, I've got this goal that's specific. I've got to write a song using these words or using these chords or uh, uh, you know whatever the stricture might be um, that's a really positive way to not only get over writer's block but also just to expand your your songwriting craft and um, as you if you watched if you've come to the song project before if you watched last week um, you know that I'm uh, a huge proponent of songwriting as craft. Uh, not to say that it's not an art, but any art is also really at its base as a craft. Um, you know, Picasso didn't just pick up a brush and start and, and uh, you know and, and and start painting masterpieces. Neither did Leonardo da Vinci or any any other artist or any other musician. Uh, you know, they, they learned and practiced a craft, and it is my conviction, uh, a deep conviction, that uh, not only can we apply the idea of craft to uh, an instrument um, or the technical aspects, say, of drawing a picture, but also to, to the creativity we use uh, to come up with it. Um, so for example, uh, you know, I, I believe that humans are innately creative, all humans. Um, I mean, of course there's outliers, right? Maybe, you know, but, but creativity is one of our defining traits and it doesn't, whether you play an instrument or uh, draw or paint or whatever it is uh, that we think of as creative pursuits. Um, even if you don't do any of those things, you're still a creative person. People are creative. Uh, that's, that's part of what makes a human human. And uh, therefore, like anything else, it is a skill we can hone and get better at. Uh, the more we use it, the easier it is to use the more songs you write and, and I, I guarantee you that this is this is true the more songs you write the better your songs are gonna get um, just like the more hours you spend practicing the guitar the better you're gonna get at it it's a simple formula and yet it's it's in this society where we're so we've segmented the idea of creativity into this little box that makes the rest of us feel better. It's like that we can't do this thing. And then we say, well, I just don't have, I'm just not creative. Uh, 
you know, people, I've, I've heard people say like, you know, the come and maybe someone hears me playing and they say, oh, I wish I could play, you know, I wish I could write songs. Uh, you know, I tried to play the guitar, but I've just really sucked at it. I have no talent whatsoever. I, I, I hate to say it, but I think that's a bit of a cop out, right? Like if you want to play the guitar, you should play the guitar. And nobody, when they first pick up a guitar, is going to be like, you know, playing Frank Zappa, right? They're going to be, they got to start with learning the most basic aspects of the technical part of playing an instrument like the guitar. Uh, and it's only, you know, after hours and hours of, of not just not just noodling, but although that will make you better too, but hours of dedicated study. Um, you know, people go to art school to learn the technical aspects of drawing. People go to a place like Berkeley to learn technical aspects of playing an instrument or writing songs. Um, and I don't think that it's, there are people who, who uh, there's people who have this sort of vibey, woo aspect to, to things like songwriters. Like, well, you know, I just, the, the stars have to be aligned just right so that the great spirit as it comes by will flush through my, my brain and, and, and produce some creative output. And I just think that's a, that's a bunch of bullocks. Uh, that's just, that's just lazy thinking. Um, no, you, you sit down and you write and you do it. It doesn't mean you're going to be Mozart. You may never write great songs, but I promise if you write a song and then you write another song and then you write another song and you do that 300 times, 500 times, the song, your 500th song is going to be light years beyond what your first song. You know, and maybe it's not going to be a hit. Maybe you're not going to ever be famous or, uh, you know, maybe, you know, I'm not saying that there isn't some amount of talent that people have. There's always outliers, right? There's always a Mozart. There's always the, a Jacob Collier. There's always like some young person that's just got like a, you know, this this uh, flash of genius or what, what have you. Um, but those are outliers. Those aren't most songwriters those aren't most artists um, most people in the creative world uh, work hard at their craft and it's actually I think it could be almost an insult uh, to the work they put in for our response to their creative output as oh you're so talented because that just sort of at least in the way we think of it in our society, that just kind of implies it's like, well, you just kind of happened upon it. You lucked out. You 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 won some sort of creativity lottery, uh, and I just think that's kind of bullshit. Um, so that's my rant for today. Sorry, I don't have a musical guest. That was not good planning on my part. I just kind of thought that maybe the universe would align, and you know, the great spirit would flow through me, and a guest would just suddenly appear. Um, out of my mouth or something and, and and play some songs but that didn't happen so it turns out i actually have to work hard at it <laughs> so but stay tuned next week uh ashley pyle is coming in i'm really excited she is uh prolific and uh really has a, a great voice and uh really is writing some good stuff and i think uh, i think it'll be a, a fun conversation and you'll enjoy her her music so stay tuned for that next week and that's it for for me here short and sweet you guys have a great week and i'll see you next time